Scientists are tracking a potentially massive consequence of climate change. Two huge icebergs that have broken off from Antarctica and are now drifting dangerously close to international shipping lanes in the South Atlantic. And when I say huge, I mean colossal. One's the size of Greater London, the other even bigger. And Martin is here to tell us all about it. Martin. Yeah, well, Tom... Two icebergs and two things to keep an eye on, actually. Uh, the first is wildlife, the second is shipping. Now, these are the very first images of one of the icebergs, A81, currently in the Weddell Sea, just off Antarctica. It's similar in size to Greater London. Now, it carved off the Brunt Ice Shelf in January and has already travelled about 150 kilometres uh, down towards the south. The second one the British scientists are keeping an eye on is twice the size. A76A is as big as Cornwall. It's been on the move for nearly two years and is now heading north. It's currently between the Falklands and South Georgia Island. Now, there's nothing to worry about, uh, and nothing new about icebergs breaking off and melting, but we know ocean temperatures and levels are rising. That's impacting storms like Cyclone Freddy and could have a similar impact on icebergs. Scientists are predicting that actually these types of icebergs might carve off more frequently in a warmer world in the future. But at the moment, this is a natural process that we're monitoring. So actually, this once in a decade event is really a quite a novel thing for us to study. Now, one of the biggest worries is shipping. Here's the amount of vessels which pass to the south of Cape Hope. If A76A becomes grounded on the area of rocks just to the west of Georgia Island, uh, it could break into pieces, causing not only a sinking risk, but forcing captains to take huge detours. The second worry is what happens when they melt. A76A weighs listen to this, one trillion tonnes. It contains nutrients, which are good for the ocean, but it also holds as much fresh water as 3,000 Lake Windermere's. And if melting happens unusually quickly, that could change the concentration of salt in the ocean and impact the wildlife. Now, there is, though, some good news, Tom, because... Scientists nowadays have much more data. They've also got better tools at their fingertips, satellites particularly. So hopefully in the future, we'll have better tools to model what's going to happen.